2006. So, what is info type 2000? Uh, before going to that, you should also tell the system like, hey, uh, my absence type, whatever your absence type is there, that should be deducted from the quota, right? That should be deducted from the quota. So, this is the place where you need to configure what it is quota deduction. So, you have to create a deduction rule. What is deduction rule? Think of an example, you have vacation 30 days and uh, you have some other uh, time off like 10 days. Now, you are going for some international trip or vacation where you think, oh, I have to be, you know, out of the country for 50 days, 50. But your vacation is maximum 40 days. Then, then you want to utilize another quota, which is like uh, another time off. Then, in that case, in that case, if the company policy says, okay, if the employee completes one quota, he can also use the next quota. That you have to define in this deduction rules. So, see here, I have created deduction rules for the absence quotas. If you click this one, it will show you the one which I have created here. So, this is the Zenith deduction rule which I have created for my grouping. So, if you go to details, it shows that this is the deduction rule. What is the deduction rule? I just created some 900 number. But if you see this deduction rule, what it is showing? It is showing two quotas. Meaning, when you apply for a vacation or any leave, the first quota which will be used will be this. And the second quota which will be used will be this. So, in the sequence, you can put whatever the quotas you want in a sequential order. Meaning, the system will first detect the uh, number of absences from this quota. Once this quota is completed, means there is nothing there in, uh, to deduct from it. Then it goes into this and pick up whatever is, uh, you know, remaining from there. So, this I have created a deduction rule. Now, how will the system know this deduction rule is applicable for your absence type? No. Till now, the system doesn't know that because you just created a deduction rule and you just left it here because you are telling the system, hey, this is the deduction rule and it should basically go and detect this quota and it should go and detect this quota. But till now, you have not told the system that this deduction rule is applicable for a particular absence type which you are talking about. So now, if you recall the uh, previous lecture about the absences, recall i'll go back here see absences here absence catalog if you go to absence counting i'm just uh, recalling you the previous lecture but what i'm going to show here is when you assign the counting rules to absence yesterday you remember i mean i assigned the counting rule to absence type because you defined a counting rule and you also have have to assign the counting rule to absence type otherwise the system will not do unless you link them together the system will not know what you are doing and what you are telling the system to do now if i click on this assign counting rules here here if you see personal sub area grouping 09 if you see my zenith leave here what is it showing i know i have assigned a counting rule but I have also indicated that whichever counting rule this is assigned to the absences, then this absence should be deducted from the quota. Whatever the quota I just showed you in the deduction rule. What does it mean? It means whatever the counting rule I am entering it here, this counting rule is assigned to this absence type and I am also telling the system, hey, this absence should be deducted from the quota. That is the reason why I have tick marked this checkbox. So, whenever you apply a leave for Zenith leave, it will deduct from the quota. Which quota? Just now we have seen the deduction rules. In that we have given the quota. So, this is how you basically tell the system like the quota should be deducted. Now, uh, I will go to the counting rule here. What the counting rule we have created? This is defined counting rules, right? Click on the defined counting rules and search for your counting rules because I want to show you where I have uh, assigned the deduction rules. So, I am going to my counting rule here. So, if you see this counting rule which I have created yesterday, 
in this counting rule if you go all the way down here you see the deduction rule so now you understood i am assigning my deduction rule to the counting rule and assigning the counting rule to the absence type this is how it is connected so if you just create the deduction rule and just leave it like that system will not know what it has to do with the deduction rule so the deduction rule whatever you have created uh, just now like you have created a deduction rule right then the deduction rule you are basically assigning the deduction rule here to the counting rule which is 001 and then you are basically assigning that counting rule to the absence type so if you see here you basically define the counting rule so this counting rule had the deduction rule which you basically created here if you see here you have created a deduction rule here right so this deduction rule is assigned to this counting rule and this counting rule is assigned to the absence type right so that is very important you have to basically understand what we are doing so first we defined the, the counting rule and then we defined the deduction rule and also made sure that your deduction rule is assigned to the counting rule now you are telling the system hey i am assigning counting rule to this absence type meaning this counting rule in turn had deduction rule assigned to it so this is the connection so if you go 3 to 4 times you will understand what i mean so first you create uh, you created counting rule already but now you created a deduction rule make sure to assign the deduction rule to the counting rule then assign the counting rule to the absence type and make sure that small check box is activated so that the system knows then uh, then only the system knows like okay fine this guy is applying for this particular uh, leave which is basically zenith leave then the system goes in the config and sees hey this guy is applying for zenith leave so the counting rule is 001 and this counting rule has the deduction rule which is assigned to it and then the system knows okay deduct the quota so now this completes our configuration how to basically create an absence quota and how to deduct the quota let's see the example slash n p a 30 if i want to put slash n i am basically terminating this section uh, this session i am going to this transaction code p a 30 hit enter this screen will come up which is PA30 which is HR master data maintain. I am entering my number 50062 here and now I am trying to create a quota. 2006 is the info type used to create absence quotas. Now it showed me the name here. I actually created the absence quotas which I will show you. So if you see here. I created the absence quotas. So what a quota I have created, if you remember, I have given the number 15, which is basically our absence quota number 15, right? And this is the start and end. Let me delete it and again, uh, you know, show you how to create it so that, uh, okay, record already deducted. Yeah, because I already applied a, a, an absence and the record got deducted. So it is not allowing me. That is good. Uh, but anyways, let me show you what actually I have configured here. This is the absence quota I have given and I have given the number 80. I just manually entered the number 80. What is this for? It shows how many, how much, how many hours totally it has been deducted. Let us apply a leave and then come back and see whether some more hours have been deducted. So this is quota, not absence type. Now I am going back. I am going to info type 2001, hit enter, this info type came up, I am trying to create zenith leave which is basically my absence type, now I am trying to create this for 25th of April, I am hitting enter, so it is calculating quota used is 4 hours, why even though I, I applied for one day, it is only picking 4 hours. Because in the counting rules, in my previous lecture, I have assigned 50% of multiplier. Meaning that if the employee takes leave for one uh, one day, it should basically deduct 50% of the hours. So, it is basically deducting 4 hours. I am saving. Now, once I save it, 
let me go back to the court and see whether it got deducted or not let me go and over to you see here total is 8 so previously it was 4 now it added another 4 so total deducted is 8 if you want to see go this and click on change icon it will show you the screen in a different way but it, it shows you the same details there is no difference but the way it looks is different it says that the quota total hours is 80 the deduction is 8 already happened and this quota is valid for from 2014-1 to 12-31-999 normally you, you normally give it for one year like 2014 but for testing purpose I just gave this number so hope you understood what is absence type how to uh, basically create the absence quotas how to create the deduction rules for the for that particular absence quota how to assign the deduction rule to counting rule how to assign the counting rule to absence type then how to create the absence type and then go and check the absence quotas whether that particular quota has been deducted so this ends our session. Thank you.